<laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for being there. That's part of life in general. I've got um, an idea that I wanted to do. I haven't done many of them this Christmas yet. I'm going to go ahead and make a wizard Christmas ornament. Some people aren't in, into just, well, it, it could be, you could make it a little heftier and a little bit of different design. Uh, basically, this is going to be for the beard and stuff, but I'm going to do the whole wizard. You just do a, a different body for, and you can make a Santa Claus. Maybe I'll do that after this one. You know how it is. Now, this is my basic um, angel line design. Of course, wizards usually wore long tunic type uh, uh, robes too, so this works out for both wizards and or angels and or and or. Okay. Thanks for being subscri subscribing to my channel. You, you know what to do. And click like, click subscribe, um, tell a woman, tell a phone, telegraph, whatever. I'm getting up there in subscriptions and I'm really excited about that. It's taken me uh, two years to build up my subscription base. Actually, the end of this month, December, will be two years of me working at teaching you guys what's all about glass and I know most of my lessons are glass blowing 101 but that's what a lot of people like about it okay now usually with my wizards I can do several things but this one I'm gonna put a sort of a crystal ball in this hand and this one will have like a the wizard staff going on but we won't do that until a little bit later okay 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 I'm okay okay now the wizard again I'm gonna put a loop on it so you can hang it anywhere and or Christmas ornament and or whatever okay now the wizard I do the basic uh, head shape which is you know you heat up pull out a center neck and go up a little bit and add um, a head and let it round in and again you gotta spin it to make it round gravity works and it's gonna start plumping if you don't heat it just right okay right now I'm only using my center flame the oxygen on the outer flame is completely off I hope you are catching that idea so if you were just using a regular a uh, national torch tip with just a single flame. This will work out really, really well for you. Now, the hairs on my wizard are pretty, pretty easy. I say that. And I go just back and forth like so in the back. And if you wanted your wizard to have longer hair, you can do that. But I only do it back and forth like so. And that gives it a very hair look. And then I uh, attach the hood. Uh, of course, there's a little nib of something on the end of that piece of glass. Let you know it. Pull that off. And here we go. Um, the hood is basically... Heat it up, press it to, and then just pull it out. And I usually crook it to one side or another. Might even flatten that out just a little bit around the edges of the hood here. There you go. I, I don't know if you see I, No, that's just out of view. I'm sorry. Here, let me do it again. I'll tilt it back slightly. Be patient with me. I gotta hold on to this thing while it doesn't slump away. There we go. I think you can see a little bit more of it now. 
I'll do it one more time. I heated up just around the edge. It was a little bit more bulbous than I wanted. Then I came over here at the edge of the marver and flattened it out so it looks more like a creased edges. And now I just sort of cook it to one side and then cook it to the other or to the back or wherever you want to, whichever direction you want to put your uh, cook to your wizard hat. Okay. I also, on the end of this, I'm going to put a loop or, or a bell or whatever you want to put it or whatever you want to call it. It's going to go front to back like so. Now the beard. Now that's the fun part. And I think I've gotten the beard down pretty, pretty good. That's one way to do that bail instead of having to let gravity work for you, but it does sort of make it a little bulbous at the end. A lot of time. Rimming it out never hurts. A little graphite rod. There we go. Now the beard. Um, the front, of course, this is the back where I put the hair all the way around the back end there. And the, and the beard itself. Okay, I was about to put it on the back of his head. Excuse me. The beard itself is, I attach it just about where the chin is. And go back and forth a little bit and then I do the fold and pull outward and down and you can make it as long or as short as you want or even a little curly cue at the end like that and the mustache is just basically the same well is basically a touch and pull on one side of the face, and then a touch and pull on the other side of the face. Nose, I usually put on the, above that, of course. And eyes, you can put eyes on a wizard. You can't make a wizard look ugly because they're already ugly. Well, it all depends on which wizard you're talking about. Give me a sec. Let me just put some nice turbo cobalt eyes here. There we go. And there you got. It could also be a Santa. You can see that the big. You could put a little bit of a rosy red cheeks and whatever. I just gave him a, a rhinoplasty. I. I, I shortened his nose a little bit. Now, now we're going to get to what I talked about earlier. This hand is going to be holding a crystal ball, and the other hand will be holding a staff type, a rod and staff. And basically for the hand, I pinch it out, and the thumb is in the back side, so I'm just going to put a stem for the thumb. I sometimes get detail on them and put the uh, fingers and stuff if I really want to get technical about it all. I do an oil lamp very similar to this and if you guys are interested uh, I, I have to do a whole line of oil lamps um, and have them. I do it was one of my epiphany moments when I came up with the idea for oil lamp. They were it was like I just uh, went to a, a mall, and they had those basic, you know, like glass jar oil lamps, and you know, a little bit taller oil lamp type deal. And I, I, you know, I didn't really think much of it. And then as I went home, I thought, oh, what if I tried to make one that looks like um, the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, where fire comes out of the torch, and uh, a wizard where fire comes out of his hand. And these are this is going through my mind, but the only words that were coming out of my mouth were. Boom. 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 Good thing I was alone at the time. People uh, would probably be around me going, what in the world's wrong with him? Um, and yeah, I, I came up with several, several 
oil lamp ideas at that time, and, and uh, shortly thereafter I made a few. But the wizard would, was one of them, and instead of a staff, he'll have, he has a crystal ball in his hand, and the wick would go, the body would be hollow, and the wick would go down the arm, and the hand itself would be hollow, and the wick would the wick would be right around in, in the palm of the hand and go down the hollow stem going down into the body itself. And you would light the wick and fire would come out of his hand, which was pretty cool. Now, I'm going to use my grippers. And, oh, I forgot. I got to do the, uh, the staff, which I forgot to do. But we'll do that real, real quick. Now the staff I'll uh, design up slightly. It's basically a stick, stick, but it's a gnarly stick. In other words, it's not just a up and down stick. You got to make it have some character to it. You know what I mean. And probably about. It needs to be a little longer, I'll add it. That's a good, good, good distance here. Oh yeah. Now you see up where it's going to be touching to the hand and also where it's going to be touching to the staff. Touch them together. And there you go. There you go. The idea is also to make sure that it's on there pretty good. You don't, you're not just sticking two pieces of glass together. You want to try to make sure it's sealed together real well. And that's just by heating it up and around. You can, if you want to get technical and it's a little bit bigger, you can do sort of like a support here, like so. And I'll do it anyway, just to show you what to do. Take and heat. And this stuff comes off afterwards, of course. Quick support from the staff so that while you're heating it and you could also do another one that goes from the top of the staff to the bottom of the staff but out and around like so and you'll see what that does in just a second you uh I'm doing this for your benefit. I could have probably gotten away without it, but now you can heat up right there where you made the two pieces together, and they will really melt together well without it going, you know, as, as you're trying to heat it back and forth. And with that, so it doesn't look like they're just stuck together. Well, I also sometimes put the palm around the outside edge there like that showing that it's holding it and now you go back and just take off these supports like so it was just a simple support to help you um, redefine an area that like right there where I put the hand together and uh, let you know that there's other ways of doing that without melting the whole thing down to nothing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull it off here. Oops. Stressed out the body because I hadn't been heating it up. Paying attention to everything else. Now i got to go ahead and melt that back together a little bit. Now you see what I you you see what I do. I don't. If I make a mistake, you see I make a mistake. But I also show you that you can correct mistakes. And I was I was taking a little bit too long to uh, get into the main body of this guy and put the uh, put the support on and all that sort of stuff. But you can. You got to just warm it in a little bit. That's all it takes, and it wouldn't have stressed out as bad. Now. I'm going to heat up the, the bottom tips of both of these things, the, where the staff is and where I'm going to press in the body. And as you do that, and they come down together, 
There you go. I'll show you that it stands. And it needs a little bit of TLC on the bottom. Oops. All right, Graceful. Let's do this. Better. Much better. Okay. And we have one wizard ornament. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you being there. As always, copy Vitro. And enjoy your day.